This video is a run through of how to utilize and modify the scripts already available in the Google VR SDK to create objects that respond to dragging and dropping. These objects are selected through gaze input and are held for the duration the Google Cardboard trigger is pressed and will be dropped when the trigger is released. As you can see in this demo, along with being moved in the scene, my sphere test object also changes color when it's dragged and dropped. I've included this to better demonstrate on video when picking up and releasing occurs, and to make it easier to view the object's reactions to these inputs. I'm going to start by creating a new empty project named Drag Drop to act as a blank canvas for this tutorial, and I'll quickly set up the basics needed for a functioning cardboard project by first switching the build platform to iOS, and then importing the Google VR for Unity package, excluding the content in the demo scenes folders. Replace the included main camera with an instance of the GVR main prefab from the Google VR for Unity package, which includes a stereo camera. The scene now needs an event system to process gaze and touch input. Delete the standalone input module and add gaze input and touch input modules. This isn't displayed in the video, but make sure that your main camera in GVR main has a physics raycaster as a component and that its clear flags field is set to skybox. Drag an instance of GVR reticle into the scene as a child of GVR main's main camera. This approach will implement drag and drop by building on top of the pre-existing GVR reticle, create a new pointer object that will process our added form of input. I want to preserve the GVR reticle script as is, so I'm going to duplicate it by creating a new C-sharp script named DD reticle and pasting the contents of GVR reticle into it. The only change I'm going to make for now is updating the class name to DD reticle, but we'll come back to this. Our drag and drop functionality comes from setting events that inform the gaze dot object if it's being held from on gaze trigger start and on gaze trigger end. On gaze trigger start will send an event alerting the object that's been picked up and on gaze trigger end will notify it that it's been put down. Create an interface that handles these events and will be inherited from in scripts controlling drag drop objects. I'll do this by creating a new C sharp script called drag drop handler. Change it from a class to an interface and remove the default start and update functions. Include the Unity engine event systems header and replace mono behavior with I event system handler. It will need two functions handle gaze trigger start and handle gaze trigger end, which will be called from their corresponding functions in DD reticle. So we can easily access and work with the object the user is gazing at, create a game object variable named gaze dot that will be assigned when gaze enters and exits an object. Initialize gaze dot to null and start. On gaze start passes in the object directly in the viewer's line of sight as the parameter target object. We'll set gaze dot to this parameter. And in on gaze enter, reassign gaze dot to null, since whatever object previously was selected is no longer directly in front of the reticle. You'll also need to include the Unity Engine Event System header in this file before we can do this next part. Then, in an on gaze trigger start, call the handle gaze trigger start function that you defined in drag job handler. You can just copy and paste this line of code into handle gaze trigger end and replace start with end. I'm now going to create the test sphere and modify its location so that it sits five units in front of the camera. Before we work on the script needed for the drag drop object, let's mold the GVR reticle into our DD reticle. We can start by renaming it and removing the GVR reticle script, replacing it with our modified DD reticle script. After including these changes, we're ready to make a script called DD object that will be attached to the sphere we've created. Any object that responds to drag and drop input should inherit from drag drop handler. We'll put that in and implement its functions. For testing sake, I'm going to add in the few lines of codes I mentioned before that change the sphere's color on pickup and release. In start, let's make the sphere yellow and reset its color to blue and handle gaze trigger start, which represents being selected or picked up, and set it back to yellow again and handle gaze trigger end which will be called when the object is dropped. If you attach a script to the sphere in the scene and press play, you'll see that it'll, it'll start out yellow and turn blue for the duration that your mouse is held. We'll add a Boolean variable to keep track of when the object is being held by the user and initialize it to false. This bool should be set to true 
in handle gaze trigger start and false in handle gaze trigger end. We can now utilize this is held bool in the update function by using it as a check in an if eight else statement. Anything written inside of this will only be performed when the object is held. We'll come back to the contents of this if statement in a moment. First, create a private game object named reticle. Initialize it by finding the DD reticle in the scene. Use this game object to produce a ray from its position along its forward. Finally, set the object's position to the point on the ray four units away from the start. And that's it. You now have an object that responds to gaze, drag, drop, input.